In our program, we have two instances of the person class, Bill and John objects. We could even create more objects of the person type, but they don't share any data among each other in the context of person class. If we were to create a game and had to count all of the objects of the person type, we would have to create some variable that would hold this information, but the objects from the person class would not have a direct reference to this value. For this purpose, we can use the static modifier to declare a static member, which belongs to the type itself rather than to a specific object. In our person type, let's declare an int value to store the number of created instances. Public static int count is equal to zero. What the static keyword did is that now the count property will be accessible through the person type instead of a concrete object of that type. In our main method, if we wanted to display this value, we could reference to it like this, person.count. And maybe let's display this count value in the console window. So console right line, objects of person type count, person.count. Keep in mind that we are not able to access this static field from any object of the person type. For example, if I try to access john.count, we'll get a compilation error. Also, making the field static doesn't mean that the value cannot change. It can, and in fact, let's change our personal implementation so that the count field is reflecting the actual number of objects created. I will go back to the person type and give you a moment to think where is the right place to increment that value. If you think that it should happen in the constructor, you are right. But in which one? Because we have two of them. Well, it should be the constructor with two parameters, because no matter how the person object could be created, either directly with this constructor or the one with three parameters, this one will be always invoked. So let's increment that count value by one. Count plus plus. Now if I run the program, the count of objects of the person type will be properly displayed in the console. That static int count field could of course be a private value, and in that case, we could only access it inside of the person type. And also, fields are not the only members that can be static. Properties and methods can be static as well. Some examples of static members that we already know are console write line or console read line, those are public static methods in the console class. Daytime now, this is a static property from the daytime type. And all of the parsing methods like in.parse are static for a given type. So in general, static members are mostly used as some utility methods or members that are global across the program.